Sketch graph. A particle begins to move from fixed point O, and this is the velocity equation. To sketch velocity time graph, first put in the time second, which is 0 to 4. So it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So from each time, it will have different velocity. So for the first one, it will be 18. For t equal to 1, it will be 14. t equal to 2, 8. t equal to 3 will be 0. And t equal to 4 will be negative 10. So in this case, by sketching the graph here, this is your velocity, this is your time. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So when 0, it will be velocity 18. When 1 will be at 14. Alright, so let's say this is 14. At 8 will be at here. I mean at set 2 second will be at 8. Third second will be at 0. And fourth second will be at negative 10. So connect all the line together you will get a shape of curve. So my graph is a bit not so accurate. So by sketching it, it will be a curve here. And you are also required to find the total distance traveled. So from this graph, you have to find total distance. You have to integrate the graph area. So the graph area is this side and this side to find until 4 second. So it will be 0 to 3 velocity curve plus 3 to 4 velocity curve and it's, be, it, it's below t as is. So on the third to fourth second it will be a negative answer so you have to modulus the answer. So to do this let me rewrite the equation 0 to 3 velocity dt plus modulus of 3 to 4 second velocity dt. And in this case, 0 to 3 velocity will be, if you differentiate this, let me rewrite, 0 to 3 velocity will be 18 minus 3t minus t squared dt plus modulus 3 to 4 velocity, which is 18 minus 3t minus t squared dt and by integrating this, you will have 18t minus 3t squared over 2 minus t cubed over 3, 0 to 3, plus a modulus bracket of 18t minus 3t squared over 2 minus t cubed over 3 from 3 to 4. And by applying the equation, I mean 3 into this t, you will get answer of 31 over 1 over 2 minus 0 because you put in 0 on all t will give you 0 plus a modulus of when you put 4 into the equation you will get 26 2 over 3 by a calculator and if you put 3 into the equation you will get 31 over 1 over 2 so by the first part you will have 31 1 over 2 plus modulus of this negative answer will give you 4, 5 over 6, and the final answer will give you 36, 1 over 3. This is your total distance. So after sketch the graph, you can actually see the equation, I mean the graph area here, to find the total distance.